Thanks, Steve. Today we're joined by Laura Plyman. Laura is a human services analyst with the Boone County Fiscal Court. Laura, welcome to the show. Thank you. Laura, I understand that you've undertaken recently a major study in Northern Kentucky of the cost of homelessness. What was the purpose of that study? Well, nationally a trend has emerged where leaders have looked to quantify the cost of providing services to homeless individuals. This study sought to do that for the chronically homeless, a subset of the homeless population, um, to get a baseline for cost of providing services and to compare against the cost for alternative service models. And you being with the Boone County Fiscal Court, did you just study Boone County or did you study the three county region? It was the three county region, Boone, Kenton, and Campbell counties. In, in order to do that uh, and to gather this sort of data, were you collaborative in your approach? We were. The, the study was commissioned by the Welcome House of Northern Kentucky, who hired Boone County Human Services to conduct the study. We also hired a graduate student from Northern Kentucky, Lisa Damaris, who helped with the study, and she was the lead author on the report. So you've got several different organizations involved. We right? did. Uh, gathering some of this data must be very challenging. Uh, how did you go about doing that, and how did you select the individuals who were involved in the study? Well, the study was a retrospective look at the cost of providing medical, criminal justice, and social services to 37 chronically homeless individuals who primarily resided in the three Northern, County, Northern Kentucky counties in 2008 and 2009. Um, we looked at the, the cost of those services and um, to, to use as a base, like I mentioned before, for, for, the, for the, um, the study. So you've been collaborative working with the different organizations. You've gathered this data. What were the study's outcomes? There were some surprising um, facts that came out. However, they were in line with a lot of the national trends. The total cost of providing those services, criminal justice, medical, and social services, was more than $902,000 for the group for the two-year period alone. Uh, one individual had cost exceeding $90,000, $76,000 of which were attributed to his ER visits alone. That high cost of medical is something that was found throughout the study. For the total group, the cost of medical services in that time period was greater than $642,000. Um, additionally, the high incident of ER visits suggests that the group lacked a medical home. Additionally, there were about 2,400 days in shelter for the group total, exceeding $101,000 in cost. Well, with all, all these costs, these high costs, were you able to make any recommendations as a result of the study to keep those costs down? The study did have some recommendations, although further study is needed. One of the areas that we look to are very, very close to us. Both Columbus and Indianapolis have a centralized organization for the funding of homeless services that vet the, the policies that are there. And through that selected process, they in Indianapolis have been able to reach a 50% decline from 2002 to 2008 in the homeless population. Laura, how can our viewers learn more about the study and actually perhaps read it for themselves? Well, the Community Foundation in Northern Kentucky, which sponsored us being here today, um, has placed the study on their electronic library, and they can access that at, access that at www.cfnky.org. Laura, we really want to thank you for being here today and sharing the important work you're doing in Northern Kentucky. We'll be right back after this break. 